My name is Michael Maffei, and I am with the band Hunter and Wolf. I am originally from New Jersey, so we started out in New Jersey, but we live out in Brooklyn now. I've been playing with Sundeep for about a decade, and about four years ago we decided we were going to branch off and kind of do a duo project, and that's where Hunter and Wolf kind of was formed back in like 2011, 2012. So I've been playing guitar, I think, I think it was in the eighth grade, because I remember my friend picked up guitar, and I was used to playing piano by ear, right? So I thought I could just pick up a guitar and play it by ear, but I couldn't at all, and that was so frustrating that I learned guitar, basically, on that basis. I always knew I could hit notes, but I didn't know if I had a good voice, and I still remember the first time I ever sang in front of a crowd, before I opened my mouth, the first thought that came to my head was, what if I'm terrible? There wasn't some just like moment, like discernible moment, but more over time I kind of woke up and thought, oh, okay, you know what, I have to start owning the fact that I'm an artist or I'm never really going to become a good artist. I was raised with a just completely different idea of success, right? And I'm trying to recalibrate to where the idea of success is, is more, more along the lines of happiness and less along the lines of security. I want to work with more artists even within the housing of Hunter and Wolf because when you've been working with someone for 10 years, like I have been with Sundeep, you get very good at one or two things and you need someone to come in and disrupt there that. Was a time so I see myself working primarily with Hunter and Wolf, but I really like the idea of side projects just to kind of wake me up a little bit. Used to mean something to someone. There are two ways that songs come to me. One of them is, it just comes all at once, and I don't even have to write the thing. I, I mean, there have been songs where it just came out in one take, like lyrics and everything, which is just crazy. And those tend to be my favorites, <laughs> Probably, maybe because they're really easy. Uh, and then there's those songs where you've got a really nice riff, but you don't know what to do with it, so it's sitting around, or a few songs I've had have been stuck in my head for like months and I just don't want to record them because I don't think they're good. My biggest fear is finding out I'm incredibly average. That's what I'm afraid of. Is because, because there's such subjectivity to art in general. It's so like externally valued, right? So the best thing you can do is just be honest to yourself and do something that you like. I think that working your ass off and then realizing that it's not good enough is that's my biggest fear. Right? Not even so much failure, but just like tepid success. And when I turn will all be dust. So I, I kinda I always say that I went from kind of the school of Tom York to the school of Elliot Smith because I used to be a huge Radiohead fan. And you realize he's just so cryptic to the point where, quite frankly, I, some of what he says means nothing. And, in, and I will say that in that when he, I think it was Kid A, Idiotech, he literally picked lyrics out of a hat. And look, you can talk about the process and things like that, and I'm not, Tom York is a better musician than I'll ever be in my entire life. <laughs> but I realized that when I started listening to Elliot Smith, there was something very plain spoken that hit me just on a much more visceral level. And, and there's something about being that vulnerable, like allowing yourself to be that vulnerable that I really liked. So when I started with Hunter and Wolf, I decided I wasn't going to be as shrouded in symbolism, and I was gonna be okay with just, this is me, this is what I'm dealing with, and just hope that people can relate to it. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's, what, that's what you're aiming for, right? Is you do what's true to you and you pray to God that people vibe with that. <laughs> so yeah, I, I've definitely seen a shift and I'm not, I'm not trying to be so cryptic. And maybe it's not as poetic, but it's, it resonates with me more and I hope it resonates with other people because of that.